Yo, yo, Rangulius here. You are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Underspace. We're back at it again. Uh, just trying to build up some equity here. We can buy some better guns, possibly better ships later on, but, and some better equipment. Still trying to figure out the mechanics of the game. Um, there's a lot of different mission types. Um, there's a lot of different equipment and items. That I still don't fully understand what they do and what they are. Seems like you can mine things in this game if you want to go mine. Obviously, you can run freight if you want to run freight. Um, I might end up buying a freighter and doing a couple runs off off camera just because I can't imagine that being too entertaining. But other than that, I'll try to maintain most of my content on on camera here just to show you guys the experience of the game. Um, I'm enjoying the flight combat so far. Um, it definitely just is a uh, hugely reminiscent of Freelancer, so that that uh, appeases me very much. I feel like that's the best best flying combat in a space game I've ever tried. But we will continue to try this out. I haven't done much damage. Because my weapons aren't that great, my aim sucks, but hopefully uh, over time that'll change. Okay, so we currently have 37k. Might be able to afford one more. I think we're just gonna have to piece our piece our ship together here, one gun at a time. We have a mother's milk class two. gonna go the equipment dealer I believe they sell slower guns here so 42,000 I can't afford that class 3 weapon I'm probably just gonna wait till I can afford the best. There's no way. There's no point in uh I'm just gonna yeah probably buy the better guns, so I'll wait till I have forty two thousand. Um check out some of these missions. Obviously junk tech's monopoly of the scrap and junk economy relies on actual salvaging and selling scrap. We'd like you to prove your worth us by delivering at least 10 units of old units star metal you could of course retrieve these from any viable source but there is currently a discovered scrap field that jug tech could very much like stake a claim on if you get the hint it'll be a good source of exactly what we're looking for 10 g's well there's freaking 28 g's sitting right here we're trying to build up some goodwill with the uhc and start chasing chapters and to do so, we are offering you this exclusive opportunity to work for us in a surveying a nearby scrapyard. Okay, so it's a, it's a similar mission to the one I did last time. Honestly, as much as I'd like to try different mission types out, I'm not going to pass up on a 28k mission. At least I know what to do this time. Um, and I'm actually going to get some equipment here. Um, we're going to want to get more healing so if we go ammunition yeah so hull webbing 12 g's damn man that's a lot like, and this doesn't really heal they yeah, had 200 points of hull like that that's not a whole lot 12 g's I don't even know if it's worth it. <sighs> I'm just gonna do 10 again. It didn't heal us a great amount, but 10 is 
2,000 health. Um, and then we got shields, which I kind of do feel like it's worth just buying max of that. Um, and now I think we're good to good to launch. We have a little bit of healing if we get into trouble, but hopefully it's not too bad. We are going... Where exactly? There, behind the planet. I definitely like the fact that you can customize your ship colors. Like, that's freaking awesome. I wish there was a little bit more options for that, but it's still in early access. Maybe there will be better, better options later on. Really wish you could a this drive closer, but to like everything. I wonder why. It's just probably like maybe some sort of lore mechanic because you're too close to the waypoints, maybe. I'm not sure why it doesn't work when you're close to the stations and stuff. I'm gonna turn off the tutorial stuff again. Hopefully that doesn't mess me up later on, but... I wonder if there's a way to pan the camera. moving your ship. Orbital camera. Wonder how I do this. Uh Try that. Let's just side view. Kind of wish you could like move around the ship, kind of get a give it a pan view of it. But okay, so just have to avoid the gas clouds. Can blow up some of the containers and get some material for free. It's like they seek in on you, but at the same time, it's almost random, it seems. I don't know. E. Come on, what the hell? Why isn't it working? My thrusters aren't working. Oh, that's why. Damn it. I gotta really pay attention.
they approach real fast. Trying to get some practice in, I guess, and moving around. Damn it, man. Kind of hard to avoid hitting things sometimes. goes 4G's right there. And these things I'm shooting out right now only give me like freaking 200 at the end. Like, so it's like the risk, re risk reward is not the greatest here. I might as well just stop doing this and uh, try not to die and get the, just get the scan. Oh, oh, damn it. It is quite difficult to avoid. Just outside his range. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Okay, so I got the scan. I got 28k right there. 53k now. I still have to figure out my speed controls. Like, it always wants to start my like my engines instead of just going faster which is kind of annoying That's everything. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go to a different base this time. I might even planet Ezar. Is this something I can dock on, or maybe it's just Ezar Academy? data center. I wonder if I can sell stuff there. Like, I get, I got a couple chapter points, whatever the hell that means. You have to really try to avoid taking damage for sure. Best of your ability, obviously, but like, damn, it's expensive to repair a ship. Of 
hopefully over time we get more and more missions that are at least more profitable. Like, 28k is not a bad payout for a mission, to be honest. It's almost a new gun. Or I guess it's like half a new gun. I'm not really wanting to go any less than last, the class 3s and the class 4 weapons at this point. No point. into that dark. Okay, so we can go. How much is repairs? 10 G's, let's, let's just do it. Equipment, cargo. Probably don't have enough weapon at this point after repairing or I didn't even repair my ship shit yeah 42k yeah I don't have that um anything I can sell Well, if I sold one of the guns for 5k, now I can buy one of those weapons. So you got a puncture MK4, free fire at 4, 168 damage. What is my mother's weapon? 84, sunbeam. 50 at 8, so like 100, basically. What are these weapons? Ariel. It refires at 2 and obviously does more. Shield damage is 182. So it's definitely more hull damage. Well, I am going to go right now. I'm probably just going to go for speed because I suck at aiming right now. So I'll just take if I unequip this, re-equip it, re-equip it, and then buy a class 4. Oh, they don't even have class 4, so I would... Wait a minute, yeah they do. And buy this class... Oh no, the other one, puncture. These are Munonic rifles built by Baldwin and Baldwin contractors for police and freelance work. Munonic weapons do more damage to quasar shields and less to antic. They have middle of the line fire rates and damage. Well, I will buy one. So I have two weapons that you force uh, refire at four per second, and then the three that do eight, which is fine. I just kind of wish I had like a shield, one, at least one or two that do shield damage. Everything kind of is more oriented towards hull damage. And then like heavy equipment, don't really understand. Do I have enough to repair my ship? No. Yeah. Um Maybe this goes to chapter house. Don't believe I have anything to sell. Yeah. 
monitoring regions. So it seems like you can go through and claim storms. I don't think I'm here yet. Um, I can barely afford to even repair my own ship right now, so. Elite mission. Assassination. Holy shit. Baldwin military missions. Okay. Interesting. Difficulty 12, difficulty 15. So these are probably above my level at this point, I would assume. 60k. Damn. And as a highly valued and trusted asset of the Baldwin Senate, we'd like to task you with taking down a particularly selected target, a heavily defended transport carrying a specific cache of information, destroying the transport, and return with the data cache for us. It is important to note that carrying the data cache is considered a felony. If you're caught with it, we will have to deny your involvement. Wow. Nevertheless, this job needs to be done to maintain a certain delicate political balance with the Baldwin people. Interesting. What a sneaky bullshit fucking mission that is. I'm kind of worried that I don't have enough firepower at this point for these missions. Recently, one of our remote networks was sabotaged, leading entirely compromised communication channel is essential that data that was normally transmitted through an avenue be delivered it might be slower but we can can't risk the other option we need you to deliver a data packet to agonite station in baldrick upon confirmation of delivery you will be paid 21k i wonder what the difficulty level really means Destroy base. Recently, our attempts to clear an old outpost was rebuffed by a group of washers who are currently using the stage platform. This represents a massive security risk. We are leaving it up to you to get out there and take down the outpost. Any fighter or support they might field is irrelevant so long as the base is eliminated. So I just have to go up and blow up the base and then I can run away if I really want to. 36. That actually sounds pretty legit like, unfortunately i feel like if i try to take this assassination mission i don't think i'd win um and then this one is bullshit like if i get caught with the goods here so like how do i i don't even know how to avoid getting scanned at this point um uh uh I do want to try it though. I'm gonna try it even though I think it's bullshit. We're gonna do it. Okay, we're gonna launch. We don't have much health either, which is the funny thing. So, hopefully we don't come against too much. Okay, where do we go? I think you can stop traveling through a gateway if you just like reverse engines so maybe we'll try to stop early on that pathway so we don't have to fly as far maybe maybe that's a thing we can do 2000 health right now i'm on a i am on like a fighting mission i do believe so hopefully it's not like incredibly difficult i got one more gun the class four gun that's pretty good so hopefully that helps it is only a four per second damage so it doesn't help that i suck at aiming but if we do hit at least it does some damage i do like the look of the ship it's pretty sweet um i kind of wish you could pan pan around it cockpit is interesting looking for sure 
Mind if I poke around your cargo bay a bit? Didn't think so. Well, I kind of do, motherfucker. None of your business what's in my cargo. All clear? You're clean? Yeah, yeah. Well, it won't be for long, so, like, when I'm on my way back, it's like I can't... I can't take these gates on my way back, pretty much. Or I have to, like, stop early and, like, take some time to run around. Okay, so is it this one that I have to... Yeah. So if I break off, like, here... Which I... Wasn't expecting this, but it's fine. One of them. No problem. Here we go. Let's try to not suck. Oh no, did I aggravate? Fuck off. Like, I accidentally hit it, probably. Damn it. We're gonna run away. We're gonna run away. Yeah, so you have to, like, really avoid doing damage to, uh, People around you. I didn't mean to hit the junk tech baller. So we're definitely going like in the completely wrong direction. Remind me to check the boards when we get back. Got something waiting. Trying to make sure we're heading in the right direction here. Nope. Completely wrong direction. Perfect. Probably right there then. Uh, uh. 
taking down a particularly slick target, heavily defended transport carrying specific cache information. Destroy the transport. Yeah. I have to destroy the transport. Gotcha. Here we go. Oops. Damn it, man. I gotta like really stop running into ships like that. Oh, jeez. Louise. Okay. Do better. I feel like my missiles are going to the wrong place. I feel like I destroyed the transport. Got the data cache, and now we can run away. Um, where am I supposed to go? Actually. Shit. Damn it, man. Okay, so I'm actually gonna have to like fight this guy. I'm probably dead. Perfectly honest. Okay. We well, their targets are a lot bigger than so I'm wondering if they're in heavy class fighters, so the target's a bit bigger. Even though the target's bigger, I still can't hit the damn thing. Damn it, dude. I almost need to, like, try and run away. Somehow. I don't see myself winning this. I don't even know who I'm aiming for half the time. Damn, dude. Sucks to suck, I guess. Come on. Anytime I feel like I have an ability to aim, of course, it just means I'm gonna take a shit ton of damage. Because they have the ability to aim, too. Fuck this, I'm gone. Yeah, where are we going? I need to, like, know where to go here. Planet Baldrick's Bolton. Let's go. Here we go. Got him. 
Okay, so now I also have to avoid getting scanned as well, though. So I gotta, like, exit the gate and, like, I almost want to exit the gate early. Hopefully avoid any kind of patrols. And I'll have to, I'll have to like scoot around the main flight path of everything here to uh, avoid the ships. Do I have? I'm gonna leave it on ships, I guess, and then try to avoid any police scans. Now we're gonna have to try and jump out early here. go now. I have to drive up, head to the other gate. Let's hope that we avoid any kind of patrols. Oh, these ships. Let's just head out below the plane a little bit here. I don't see anything on this radar yet. So I'll hope that we get to a point where we can actually take on a group of fighters. Like, it just seems freaking impossible at this point. Like, I just don't seem to. One, hit them, and then two actually do damage. I'm gonna head towards this gate just to be safe. See any ships on my radar, so that's good. Um, so start that at me. scanned and we're good oh yeah 48k so I think I'm gonna have to head to probably planet Valdrick in order to get yeah a weapon that I kind of want so we're gonna Missions weren't too bad here though. Um, so survey mission, destroy base again mission. So 36k, 47k. All you have to do is destroy the base. Difficulty 17, so it's not an easy mission. Or do I just do? That's a brand new gun at class four, but I only have one class four spot and I have three class three or two class three spots that I need to fill. Let's do this, see what it's like. Um, and we will just accept that. Move 
Dom. Uploading mission critical data. Good luck. Right. This is just fly to a spot. I think we'll do this one. Hopefully we beat it. And then if we beat it, we'll go to probably planet Baldrick. I would assume that that planet has a lot more weapon selection. And, uh... From there. Probably looking to just get sun class... Sun beams, class Cs, but... Unless I find a gun that does shield damage. Like, if I can find a gun that actually do, is, like, focused on shield damage, I'll probably get two of those. And then the rest of my guns will be all damage, but... Okay, unknown station. Our goal is just to blow the station up. We don't have to worry about the fighters. So, we're not going to. Just blow the station up and then try to run away. Here we go. I wonder if range is also an issue with my guns. Never really thought of that. I would have thought the range is like infinite, but... Oops. Payout. I just got paid for it. So it's like there's not really much of a point in sticking around. I don't think I'm gonna freaking beat this many washers. So, that being said, I have to really... Where do I want to go? Battleship Caldron? Or, let's go to a waypoint. Yeah. Go over here. Nice. Not even chasing me. Okay. My reputation with the Baldwin military, probably. Yeah. Pretty good. Police is good. Mata hates me. Obviously, the washers are going to hate me. I am going to go to Planet Vault. Or Valdrin. Whatever. Try and see if we get some better weapons, maybe some better equipment, but... Pull it up. Let's take a look. Um... That is... To my left. I want to go this way. I think I'm going... yeah. Wow, 
I can dock with that battleship. I wonder if there's like mission missions and stuff on that ship or stuff. Planet ball. Attack. I think that's what it looks like when you actually hit it with a good weapon. There we go. There we go. Boom. Boom. You're gonna run away? You did. What you get? Night shield? Level 9. Sweet. to the docking port and like i said I, I for some reason like it even has like the option to like click it like why can't i click on the docking port like i have to open it up in this menu instead it's kind of annoying should just be able to click on it okay Let us go to the equipment tree. See what we have. So, Sun class, uh, Sunbeam class D. Oh, shield, shield killer. Exactly what I was looking for here. Class 2 weapon, but it's... This is exactly what I was looking for. So these are Vulcanite shield killers designed for civilian defense. Vulcanite guns are energy weapons that do little damage to hull structures, but much more to shields. Vulcanite weapons do even more damage to quasar shields, but less to neutrino, and have an average rate of fire. So I'm going to grab, actually, this one. I'll only take one of them. It's a class two weapon, so we will sell one of our beam sunbeams. We'll take this web eater. We'll just buy one of them. So now we have four or three guns that fire at four, which I might actually sell the mother's milk at this point, seeing as how we have another one. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna sell the mother's milk. MK2. I'm selling that. Um, and then I will also sell my other class A Sunbeam class 1. And then I will buy pretty sure the puncture is a 4 per second. Ariel is a two per second. I'm gonna take the Sunbeam D. 
buy this for 42k. And then I can buy another one. So, buy another one. So I have I have two class four sunbeam, one class three sunbeam. All do 8.3 DPS or uh, fire rate. Fires 8.3 per second. And this is the highest I can do in that slot. This is another one there. So the only other weapon would be my my missile launcher, if I could get a better missile launcher, but I don't think, yeah, it's just all the same class one missile. I wonder if later on these can upgrade, but I'm not too sure. Kind of seems like they're all just pretty generic right now, and there's probably not any upgrades. That's fine. Okay, so we finally got a shield killer, the web eater there. Unfortunately, it's a four per second, but at least it's still four per second, so that's not the end of the world. Um, and then we still have 20k left. So what is this? So a heavy weapon. Arc cannon. This is a high-powered railgun that fires superheated understeel at target at near FTL velocities. The resulting projectile is devastating, especially to larger targets. Heavy energy consumed, 500 hull damage, 35. Yeah, like, so this thing is a freaking beast. Sunspot. Predictably developed by the bald N. The sunspot created creates a ball of superheated thermo before providing with a small boost in a specific direction. A projectile persists for several seconds before becoming unstable and exploding. Despite its obvious conditions, the Deminivi have expressed their disapproval of the gun's existence. Does less damage, but still does like 5k shield and hull damage. Has a 20, 2000 meter explosion radius. Interesting. So it's like a one shot gun, it seems. It's freaking expensive. And I wonder if you have to buy ammo for it. Auto turret MK1. Auto turrets are AI driven photonic turrets designed to track and seek hostile targets and defend incoming fire. Processing power they take is enough where only one can be mounted at a time. Generally, they are high power traditional front mounted weapon. So, is this like an auto shooter? Like a weapon I don't have to control and it just shoots at rent? Like, I don't know. And a mine launcher, obviously, I'm gonna want one of these eventually. Definitely want countermeasures eventually. Maybe let's just get the hull for now. It doesn't, it literally does 0.1 times more strength, but whatever. Let's just do it. And then let's go and see, maybe there's chapter stuff I can do here. Let's go see the chapter. And I don't know, category three, category two. So it seems like I can like claim storm. Supernatural molten nebula filled with microorganisms. The Retus is a remote, lucrative, and very dangerous sector of the galaxy, believed to be the home of regions of the ancient gate builders. Its star systems are mostly uncharted. Explorers return with tales of thick, rustling minefields, strange friendly storm rites, and huge crystal halls. How much of this is fan city tales? Fanciful tales and how much of it is true is inconclusive. So I just claim this storm. Join chapter, join chapter. Idol Smashers, Valdry. Vetuus or Valdric storms chased. Washers killed. Macro Valley founded and integrally ran a group of anti-cult specialists. The Idol Smashers are considered a foremost expert in combating washers, soul chasers, and their offshoot cult. 
currently based out of Waldrick, the Idol Smashers have proudly the legacy of dismantling the networks of re religious extremists thought in recent years members of Twitter. So in recent years members of Interest. Well, I'm about to chase a storm, so I'm going to take the Veil Drakes. Join this chapter. I'm about to go and chase a storm, so we're doing that right now. We can level up our character a bit. So, three points. I'm gonna go up shield rate up to 10 and max ammo I guess up one just because I wonder how much you can level up and I'm level 9 so I think at level 10 I probably upgrade I unlock more I think I think every 10 levels you unlock different different abilities I think it said so well I have a quest right no so storm chasing doesn't necessarily mean that I have a quest. Interesting. Let's launch and see what if I have like a waypoint to go to or something. We finally upgraded our weapons. Hopefully that actually is significant. Ah oh, crap, screw this up. My camera loves just to mess up for no reason. Alrighty. Yeah, so do I have a, like a... Uh, waypoint to go to. Have a storm scrap field, lucrative. I'm confused. I wonder. Do I just have to find the center of that storm? Is that is that all I have to do and that's good? Like it's not necessarily like I have to like go to a specific spot, it's just in this sector destroy clouds, I guess, maybe? Do I have a ships, dockable, requisite treasure, cargo items, everything? I'm in a cat 2 storm right now. I think I just head to the center of it is all I have to do. So I'm not even in the right direction. Am I right in thinking about that? Now I don't even know. I kind of almost feel like that might not be right. Yeah. So where would... I'm in a storm. There's somewhere I can see. Hmm. How do you chase a storm? Hmm. 
How does one chase a storm? I'm in a cat too. Have a storm scrap field called. There's definitely no sense of direction when it comes to like I don't necessarily know where it wants me to go from the storm. Oh, what's that? Stable jump. I go for it. Is this something I click on? Oh shit. Loading. Unstable jump hole. What did I just do? The baton system. Independent space. Para jump hole. Ardoz, good to see you again. Listen, Pat thinks we got a new lead on Doomstairs, but putting together got stuck with us once before, well, at you, especially after. Well, the Idol Smashers are stretched a bit thin. I'll meet you on Valdrick. Sounds perfect. I'll tell Hat early on. Back to work. Report to the Idol Smashers at the Chapter House at the time of Valdrick. Right after I, like, um, went with the, uh, other clan there. So all I had to do to progress in the story was to go through that i got here where am i independent space interesting the tip oh yeah blue door the baton system where was i originally Universe map, galaxy map, the baton quest available, alpha omega quest available. Okay. Back to work. Okay. Well, that's cool. So we can use these as quick jumps, I guess? I'm assuming this is going to take me back to that place, I would hope. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Well, we're in the middle of it. Let's do it. I wasn't paying attention, but that's okay. Yo. Yo. Well, hopefully I reload like right there. What the hell? Damn, dude. this 
Undroid base. Dog. What the hell? I'm so confused. Waypoint. Report to the Idol Smasters on the champ. Like, what is going on here? Under Spatial Rift. I think I'm gonna go to that and blow this up. Rev. I don't know what that is. Pretty sure if I blow the Under Spatial Rift up, that is the thing that I need to destroy the cloud, right? I'm gonna head that way. I don't know who talked to us that first time, but. It definitely seems like there's a little bit of random, random events that happen. Sucked in? Is that what's going on right now? What the fuck, dude? What's going on? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What's going on? I feel like I'm getting sucked into. I'm trying to get out of it. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay, interesting. So there's like mini black holes I have to worry about. Holy crap, okay. Well, let's hopefully I can just destroy this thing. Boom. Okay, got him. Anything I can, okay, so I gained a storm eye. I wonder what a storm eye is. Red tie. Is that like a what is it? Fifteen thousand health. Is this just like a wreckage that I can Oh fuck off. Oh fuck off. Oh fuck off. Oh fuck off. Please don't kill me. Wow. 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 Okay, so I thought that was associated with the storm. Guess I was wrong. Great. Wow. That freaking sucks. Well, you're just going to have to uh, try that again. I really got to avoid these fucking black holes. I thought those were associated with the freaking storm. Didn't expect those to stick around. Now I know better. And I wonder what a, a star eye does. Because, like, I can see them in the menu and shit, but, like, I don't know if that just means a ranking of like a star chaser or something. Like, I don't know. I'm just kidding. Okay. Let's just avoid falling into a black hole. Whoa. Okay. I'm in a minefield. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Jeez. Oh, no. Okay. Holy crap. Okay. So it's like, 
Wow. Random. It's just random as hell. Dude, what the hell, man? Let's feast on the rift innards together. Okay, well. I'm gonna try this again. So, a minefield got me. Fucking black holes got me. I got killed by a freaking random train thing that goes by. I wonder what these shooting star things are. Wonder if I get hit by one of those if I get fucking damaged. Okay, let's try not to. I don't know. I don't know how to avoid the mines. Like, those just seem to. I don't know, they seemed attracted to me. Like. Uh oh. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna hit another mine from here. Could be wrong. Okay, I'm getting a lot closer to it. I don't see anything too bad right now. Let's start shooting. Oh no. I'm a little worried my uh most satisfying. Game to store my. Okay, this thing's after me again. I see that. I see you. I'm not gonna die again. Come on. Come on. Let's freaking go. Okay, so let's go maybe. Red tie. I'll try this again. Hopefully, avoid any black holes. Corduroy base, I guess that's a, uh, oh. Oops. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Ugh. Damn it, dude. Like, these things are freaking terrifying, man. Like, I'm just, I can't tell where it's at either. up mine ball I'm like terrified that one of those things are just gonna come out of nowhere come on, stop yeah this my energy is like Oh shit. Did I get everything that I could have gotten out of it? It already like Okay. So, must I wonder if it glitched out. It was actually blew up already and it's not registering it. Okay, so it says waypoint. I don't know why it's telling me this is a waypoint when it's not. Um, I want to go back to Vol uh, local map. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Did I just jump to another random spot? Oh, so these aren't actually like gate. These are like random. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. 
Well, I can see why it's telling me this is a waypoint now, but the baton jump hole. So this one connects to that baton space, but how I got to that space is not able to be done again. I don't know. <coughs> well, we're going to try to get back. Don't know how, but <clears throat> hopefully it's not too bad. We just fly at it and we're good. Okay. So this brings us to the blue place. How the hell do I get back? The planet Valdry from here. Um On system. So I'm here. Era. Alpha Omega. Omega Alpha. Rara. Moncrease. Aldrin. How the fuck do I get back there? E. Must be a jump point. Assuming if we head towards these guys, hopefully we get somewhere. So, make sure we're moving in the right direction. Don't necessarily know. I head towards the blue dwarf. Okay, so now I have to go left. <laughs> I wonder... <clears throat> Do I have to do anything? Probably picked up as much as I can. Okay. Head back towards okay, so there's random jump gates. I ended up hitting a jump gate that randomly got me here, but you'd have thought that the one that was close by would have got me right back to my place, but not. 
Well, I guess we're going to Guerrera. Let's go here. So we got Mata after us. Take uh take some time to fight. Let's see what our Dog fighting looks like with a, with a shield killer. Our energy definitely gets drained a lot faster with this gun, though. You can't just continuously fire. Eventually I'll get good, I hope. There we go. Avoid the mine. Got him. You dead. Oops, what did I just do? Shit. Damn it, my energy is drained. Something you have to worry about, but okay. There we go. Yeah, okay. So better guns is definitely where it's at. Holy crap. I think I'm uh, out of cargo space here. You did. Boom, bitch. Constable shield. Okay, well, that didn't go too bad. So, definitely better guns is uh, worth it. So they have a, a jump gate here, probably to the. There's a couple jump gates here. Let's just chill. Let's just chill. Let's chill. I don't even know which one this is. Eight how is not important. It should be important. It's right in front of me. This is the Guerrera jump gate, I think. Galaxy. If I. Is there a direct one to. Come on. This is not the easiest thing to navigate. Okay. Damn it. Looks like there's a direct one to Valdrag. So. I wonder. 
There's another station. What is this? Guerrero jump gates here. It looked like there was like another one. Oops. Damn it. There's a Guerrero jump hole. Is that what that is? I'm confused. Let's stop. Let's just stop. Like, what's this? Rare jump hole. Rare jump gate. I'd assume that if we jump to Guerrero, we could probably jump to. Yeah. The Goldrum. So let's just jump to. Yeah. Okay, let's just stop wasting time. head through the gym. some I'll give them some oh my I fucking love this gun like god damn it this is what I've been waiting for it's not that I was missing it's just that my gun sucked that's what I'm gonna tell myself and I just got to avoid the mines damn it the right buttons. Got him. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Damn, am I getting hit by the freaking missiles? Come on. Just one more small little tiny nick. He's dead. Come on, I don't want to fire a missile at him. Come on. Blow up. That's brutal! What the hell? I feel like I should have hit him by now. This is rough, dude. There we go. Oops. Frickin' hell. I need to change these buttons around. Time that right. I think they're blowing up my missiles. Like, could be wrong. Let's recharge a little bit here. Oh, bitch! Shark two. Ooh ha ha. I think I'm like out of room cargo space. That being said, is there a base right here? Chips. Con jump gate. Mining depot. 80k. No. Okay. So we're just gonna go through a waypoint.
I think we'll dock here, sell some shit. Some. I'll give you some. Yeah, I fucking love this new gun I have. guns. That's where it's at. Okay, let's go to the base. Cargo trader. Probably can sell some, uh, sell some shit. Split. Medium. Water. Damn, I really don't have many credits. Go to the equipment dealer. And then I install oh, this. Is this better than the one I have? I would say yes. So that's. 200, recharge rate is 2, 22 per second, recharge time 20 seconds, recharge percentage 0.5. The exact same, except for this is way more shield capacity. So we are definitely going to sell this and install this, right? Sweet. And then um, actually never mind we're gonna actually sell this and install this a night shoot there we go our survivability just fucking like quadrupled Not bad, not bad. This is an antique based shield. It offers protection from turret and temporal based weaponry. It takes more damage from ball stick and glutonic weapons. Energy recharge rate plus 12%. Bonus. Not bad. Okay, so. Web hole unit. 
Pole webbing it. Hardpoint slot. Like, what is it? Setting that charges the fabrication techniques of pole webbing on your ship to produce higher concentrations while allowing more effective repair. Okay, so it just allows for better pole repair. Okay. There's quite a few freaking upgrades that you need for your ship. They're not cheap. Let's see if I can just repair my ship. Wow, a lot cheaper than usual. Awesome. Um, I think we're just gonna leave now. Kind of got out. I just sold some stuff. Changed out some equipment here. Got better shields. Oh, jeez. Got better shields, but just took a shit ton of damage because I'm dumb. Measure. Got him. Got him. He's almost dead. I like how my sunbeams still fire. At least I think those are my sunbeams. Even though my energy is gone. Okay, there we go. Well, you should have thought about that before you attack. Charge a sack. There we go. Okay, so there is definitely a night and day difference when you get better upgrades on weapons, for sure. I knew all I needed was a shield killer. And it's cool because I only bought one, and it's like it's enough like one shield killer is enough it just drains energy like a motherfucker I wonder if I can upgrade my energy on my ship probably I can upgrade fucking everything else there we go I feel like I can actually freaking do shit now running away. Oh shit, if I enter that, yeah. It's almost like he's using it as a defense. What the hell, dude? I'm 
almost got a shield down. Shield's down, I think. So let's fire a missile. Boom. Fire another one. Boom. Got him. Okay. All webbing. Okay, let's go. Where is it? Because I can just heal right now. Go pick this up. Might as well. For the love of fuck, dude. Keep hitting the view button instead of scan. So back to work is our campaign mission for some new work. Get one of your chance, hand over your cargo. Fuck you. You're dead. You don't, you don't, you don't get to do that. You don't get to, you don't get to do that. Boom, bitch. What you get? What you get? You dead. Gotcha. Gotcha. You did. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, did he run away? Is he running away? Yeah, he just ran away, didn't he? You scared? Or is he fighting someone else up there?
what you get. Hell yeah. Definitely wished uh, enemies dropped a few more items, but can't always get everything. Um, just one enemy. Do it. Doesn't even look like they're after me. Jeez. I think that's where we're gonna end it for today thanks for watching if you liked what you saw feel free to drop a like and subscribe it'll really help a lot you were watching Reg feels like playing under it's